In parts of Jackson, Mississippi, there is water everywhere. You feel helpless and you want to, you know, you want to throw in the towel. With the worst flooding in decades affecting thousands across central Mississippi, this morning they are bracing for more rain, with another two inches expected over the next few days. Across parts of Jackson, the swollen Pearl River relentless, overtaking homes, shutting down streets, and flowing through bridges. We got a lot of people hurting. Governor Tate Reeves says the state will feel the impact of this for years. The fact is, whether it's six inches or six feet, it doesn't really matter when you have this kind of water in, in your homes, it can really disrupt your lives. It's something Patrick Cruz knows firsthand. This whole bottom level is, is out, and this is, you know, one of many homes. Just the sheer force of, you know, millions of gallons of water. I mean, you just, there's nothing you can do. If it wants in, it's coming in. A few streets away for this young family. I'm about to load them up on my back, walk them in, go back and get my wife, an eight-week-old. Don't let go. There's only one way to get to their home. Across parts of the South, 10 million people are under flood warnings across 15 states, including Tennessee, where wide stretches of Hardin County are submerged. Back in Jackson, that's this anxious back. father knows it's Still only a matter of time so before the water, water creeps right. in. But the one silver lining, an outpouring of love. It's really been overwhelming. I'm really just kind of thinking about it. I get, I broke it up over it. It's, it's, it's such a good feeling to have so many friends and family did let her help it out. Now, it could be a few days before the water starts to recede, but even then, the governor is stressing people should not go back home until authorities say it's safe. Now, the governor says that he has spoken with President Trump, who called to express his support.